Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week's nursery tour. We have got some fantastic things to share with you. Here we are. I mean, like October is just, you know, marching on and it is just fantastic. It is nice and brisky here this morning. I can actually see Jerry's breath as he is behind the camera. So here we are, North Carolina Zone 7B, just west of Charlotte here in the Piedmont. And um, fall has arrived. The colors of the trees are starting to change and the temperature is changing as well. This is prime time to be landscaping in your yard here in the southeast. This is a great time to get those perennials, trees, and shrubs into your landscape because they will have plenty of time to get well adjusted before the heat hits come next spring and summer. We like planting during this time because it is not as a stressful time on the plants as say when you're planting in spring going into summer, right? With all the heat and the humidity. Um, now that we have cooler temperatures, hopefully we'll start to get a little bit more consistent rain as the winter comes on. And that's great time for roots to grow because if you have strong, healthy roots, you have a strong, healthy plant. So we're gonna walk through, remember this is just our weekly nursery tours or we're showing you what is available here at the nursery what is looking good, some ideas that you might want to incorporate into your garden. Now, I am standing here beside the uh, Pearl Glam Beauty Berry Bush. We love this plant. It is a native plant, and you can see why it is called a beauty berry, because this is the time of year where they're Spring flowers have now turned into these gorgeous, really vibrant purple berries. And you'll notice maybe as you know, these are more vibrant down here. And as you work your way up the stem, they're not quite as colorful. That's because the pearl glam blooms from the base all the way up. So the older berries are showing more color faster. These will bloom on new growth, so you can prune it every um, late winter going into spring. Like I said, where the, where the berries are were little white flowers that pollinators love. Um, and I will tell you too, is that they have gorgeous fall color, nice big shape to them. I wanna say they're like a four by four, something like that. And any of these plants that we're talking about, if you want to, you know, go to, if it's a Proven Winners, you can go to provenwinners.com and type in the name and it will give you all the specs. This is just kind of an overview and just showing you, hey, you might want to check this plant out. So gorgeous fall color on the pearl glams. Love these. Um, and so great option for you. Also, I forgot to mention when we first started, uh, Jerry told me to tell you, that we have just gone through and fertilized all of these shrubs because coming out of summer and then we got all of that rain from Hurricane Ian, when they're, you have plants in the containers, right? That all that water, it leaches out the good nutrients. So we have gone through and fertilized all of these shrubs. If you notice that maybe some of your perennials and shrubs and trees at your house maybe need a little extra shot of something, fall is a great time that you can apply fertilizer, but at a half dose. Um, when in doubt, plant tone. Plant tone is like the, what I call like the Swiss army knife. You can use that on anything. So just look on the bag. It will tell you the rates and do a half dose for that in the fall. Then come, you're coming out of winter, going into spring, then you can do a full dose because that's when they're gonna hit their main growing period. So we've got the beautiful pearl glams. Then we have got the fantastic, uh, Fairy Trail Bride. Now, Fairy Trail Bride is the first um, trailing, weeping, whatever you want to call it, hydrangea. This is more like a lace cap. It is a beautiful, creamy white. Um, and this is for our southern regions. These are going to be in zones, I want to say seven to nine on this guy, six to nine. So zones six to nine, it will be a four by four and it blooms on both new growth and old growth. So you want to avoid pruning this as much as possible, but it is one of those rare hydrangeas that is for the more warmer climates. It will do great in a large container. It'd be quite um, a statement piece in your garden. So Fairy Trail Bride is available, as is the Gatsby Gal. So Gatsby Gal is a fantastic, 
oak leaf hydrangea that can actually do more sun here in the south. We think typically of the oak leaf hydrangeas as being shade plants. Gatsby Gal is going to be more sun tolerant. Mine is actually in full, full sun and she is doing really well. We love the oak leaves because you can tell how they got their name because they have these beautiful leaves in the shape of an oak tree, like the oak leaves. They have um, beautiful creamy white, more kind of cone shaped panicle blooms on it that will age to a, a red, great color in the fall. As soon as we start to get more consistent cooler temperatures at night, then these guys are going to turn that burgundy color. Great accent for the fall. And these are hardy in zones. The tags are wet this morning, so it's kind of hard to open them. Um, five to nine. It does say sun to part shade, and they're going to be five to six feet tall and wide, which is going to be a great size for the garden because if you think traditional oak leaves, like they can be massive like right 10 to 15 feet tall and wide mama has one that is just an oldie and she is huge this is probably much more manageable for your garden at that five to six foot tall and wide speaking of great fall color candy corn spirea this is um, got its name because it has kind of those three colors on the plant your new growth is kind of a reddish orange and as it develops, you're going to have this um, kind of an ombre effect that it will come down to this nice bright green. Spireas are wonderful, again, because they love the sun. They're not going to get massive. They stay nice and petite. And then in the spring, they do beautiful blooms on them. It's a great um, plant to add to your landscape. And then when you pair it with like Laura Petalum, right? So here we have, I wanna say this is yeah, Jazz Hands Bold from Proven Winners. So nice, dark, burgundy, evergreen shrub that's gonna get some nice size to it. You put the candy corn in front of it, and then you can even incorporate the Sprinter Boxwoods. So you've got lots of good evergreen, pops of color. This is a great combo to put what we call as foundation plantings, meaning that you can put it right around the foundation of your house. So this would be something good that could go in the front of your house. I have to show you this. This is the Perfecto Mundo. Uh, no, it's not. It is Blumathon. Sorry. They're, Proven Winners has two different lines of azaleas. This is Blumathon Double Pink. And you can see that she is in full bloom right now. These are the reblooming hydrangeas, hydrangeas, azaleas. I got hydrangeas on my brain. Um, so the reblooming azalea, they'll do, of course, beautiful blooms in the spring, then again in the summer, and now here in the fall. These are going to be sun to part shade. They are going to be three and a half to four and a half feet tall and about three to four wide. So they're going to have some good height to them, right? Nice and good presence. Another great foundation planting. If you wanted to incorporate the beautiful with those lower petalums, lower petalums in the back, the bloomathons in the front, gorgeous color and hardy in zones 6b to 9. azaleas of course are iconic here in the south we do love our azaleas for sure um so we're going to make our way down this way and show you oh if you saw our uh garden tour over at spring meadow they had the temple of bloom and we have got some fantastic ones here for you I had pulled one of these for me when they first arrived. I cannot wait to incorporate it into the garden, but this is a nice size shrub tree. Um, so the Temple of Bloom is gonna be a great alternative to a crepe myrtle uh, it, because it has that multi-trunk um, habit to it. It's not a single stem tree and it does a beautiful white flowers on it that turn to a nice burgundy red. It is just a really nice fun plant to add. You can see it's starting to color up here for um, the fall. So this is a great be a great specimen piece right so if you don't want to do a crepe myrtle the temple of bloom would be a great one to add and then of course we have from Southern Living, this is the Stellar Magnolia, Stellar Ruby Magnolia. It's a banana shrub. So this is a, a, a really fun plant right here because, let me show you the tag. I know y'all love tags. Um, 
when it blooms, the flowers smell like ripe bananas. It is the craziest thing I have ever seen in my life. So this is a beautiful evergreen. It's not going to be that traditional magnolia that we think of, um, but it is a great plant that is going to be full sun to part shade, 10 to 15 tall, 6 to 8 wide, hardy in zones 7 to 9. Uh, let's see roses also we've had people ask about um muley grasses so muley grasses are a wonderful hot weather perennial grass that bloom in the late summer into fall so they're right now right so this is kind of what i call like the cotton candy plumes on it you will see these a lot in full sun, even along like highways, because these things love to be neglected. They do not like to be fussed over. They don't need a lot of water, but when they have their plumes going, it is absolutely stunning. It comes in pink and it comes in white. These are three gallons and these are all pink or white? white. These are white. This is what I thought. So I can see the first little plume down here starting, but if you, I think you know what I'm talking about, those gorgeous plumes, and this is the white version. Now, we have got the new roses from Proven Winners. This is the Reminiscent Crema. I'm going to show the tag for them. Um, so, Reminiscent Crema is a beautiful, creamy, white, gorgeous, traditional um, shrub that you think of for a rose. It's heavy. You just got water this morning um, so you can see that this bud is opening up it is just like its name says a creamy white it's not a pure white it's kind of a uh, French vanilla shall we say or just that nice beautiful cream nice traditional bloom that we think of but this will be a great option if you want to add roses to your yard um, so we have the crema we have um, of course the the at last that we've had for a long time um, but these are going to be hardy in zones four to nine, and they're going to be about three, three feet tall by two feet wide. So lots of great options for you on the roses. We've got the roses. We've got, um, we're, we've got the rise up series. We've got the at last, um, there's a, we haven't brought all of them down. Um, but like this is the, this is the at last beautiful kind of that, um, gorgeous color to it that has a nice sweet smell we'll love these and again great easy if you're just getting into roses and you want to try those then these are a great option to get you started into roses now whew, it is brisky this morning um, to give you an update we have got mums galore we've got them in all stages of blooms so we would love for you to come by and grab some we have them because remember it's all about the genetics with the mums so you have some mums that bloom early super early then mid and you have late so we have a little bit of everything here at the nursery so that you can get whatever your needs are if you are planning for long term you're thinking about like thanksgiving or you know early november that kind of thing you're going to want to get mums that are nice and tight so if you can see over here dear these are really nice tight buds really small right now the mum is as big as it's going to get so you're not going to see any new growth as far as like size it's just that your flowers are going to open up this is what we call like cracking they're showing some color this is actually a white one it starts out a little soft buttery yellow and as it matures it will turn a pure white so we have different stages and then inside as soon as we come around the corner you will see we have some that are in beautiful full color so if you have an event you're having some friends over you're having i don't know a birthday party you're having some sort of event within the next you know couple of weeks then maybe you want to go ahead and get ones that are nice and full and are showing all of their gorgeous colors because it makes a nice big huge statement with these all of our mums are in the 10 inch terracotta pot and we do this on purpose um, when we first started growing mums i really pushed jerry i said i really want to do the terracotta that way you know if you're like me i'm i'm tired by the end of the summer and i don't want to have to repot my mum 
So I literally take these and put these on my front porch. And you have a nice little terracotta pot. All of our mums are $15. You can't beat this price for these size mums. So as long as supplies last, they are $15, so come get them. And we have them in the oranges and the yellows and the purples and the reds and the, and the pinks and everything. We have them in all sorts of colors. We do still have pansies and violas. We are actually making a run as we speak. Josh has gone to grab another trailer load of pansies, violas, and the Ms. America kale mustard. So if you are coming to the nursery and you want to have that Ms. America, of course that's that gorgeous, deep, um, vibrant, kind of burgundy, almost a black upright mustard. We will have those, should be here by lunchtime today, and today is Thursday. So we will have plenty of you for you on Friday and Saturday, but of course the pansies. And then also don't forget about, this the perfect time to start planting you know, your perennials, adding in perennials to your garden. I have been planting shrubs galore the past couple of days. So we're adding those in. If you wanna look at adding in your perennials, like this is a great one. People ask, you know, what would be a wonderful flowering perennial for the sun? Well, you've got the amazing daisies and this is Daisy May. Daisy May is that classic white um, Shasta daisy. And look at that plant. That is a very happy, healthy plant that will, you put it in the ground right now and they will do, just take off and get established and do wonderful hardy in zones five to nine so very adaptable the one thing i have found with the daisies is they do not like to have consistent wet feet they will rot so you want to have well draining soil and they can tend to be once they're established a little bit more drought tolerant so these are certainly great options for sure um we have got oh my gosh cone flowers and y'all have gone nuts as we thought you would. Um, so excited about the different cone flowers that are coming out, Echinacea from Proven Winners. We will have those four in like early summer. So we do not have those available yet. They're not have been released. So I'm talking about like the, um, the butter pecan, the raspberry beret, the, uh, oh shoot, there was two other ones and the names just went out of my head. But we've talked about those before but what we do have is a lot of the sombrero series so like this is the granada gold these are the ones that i have in the landscape in the backyard and y'all they are performing their heads off they are stunning so it comes in all sorts of different so we've got the granada gold we've got the improved yellow we've got the orange all sorts of good colors um, those are great for fall interest because like I said, they start blooming in late summer and going into the fall right now and they are very, very happy and they like it dry and they like it hot and they like to be neglected. I mean, what else can you ask for? Was there anything else we wanted to talk about? I think that's about it. Of course, we are here to help you in any way you can, you know that we can. So come see us. We are open on Wednesdays through Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And our last closing date for the season will be Saturday, November the 19th. That is the Saturday right before Thanksgiving. No frets my pet as far as videos. You know that we have tons of content coming to you. So just because the retail portion of the nursery is going to be closed, videos are still coming out just as they always have been. So we're going to keep on. We got we've got projects that we haven't even talked to you about yet that we are going to be. I'm so excited. And I'm like chomping at the bit to get started on some of these. So just know that we've got plenty of content, plenty of things to share with you. But if you want to come see us Wednesdays through Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, yeah. We look forward to seeing you. As always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day. Get outside and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weather. We will see you soon. Bye, friends.